Okay, this is a sample problem that comes from uh, section S, which is on subspaces. So we're looking at subspaces of vector spaces. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a polynomial space. This is C20. And all a polynomial space is, is basically the uh, vectors are defined by polynomial powers, but it's, it's really no different than just defining a vector. So in this case, we've got P3, which means we're going polynomials up to order 3, which forms four terms. So we basically got vectors that have four members to their set. In this case, we have a subspace W that consists of these three polynomials. And again, these are going to be vectors of 1, 1, 1, 0 for the 0 order. Uh, this one's going to be 1, 0, 2, negative 6. And then this one's going to be 0, 1, 0, negative 5. And then we want to check if this guy is a member of the subset. That is, if we produced all of the linear combinations of these three members, is this one of the ones that are going to be produced? So it would form the vector uh, 1, 0, 6, 4. So let's build that matrix, okay? So first, the cubic terms, and the cubic terms are going to form 1, 1, 0, and then the solution is 1. So 1, 1, 0, and then the solution row is 1. The squared terms, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, third is the uh, linear term. So that's going to be x, uh, 1, 2, 0, 6. And finally, the constant term, 0, negative 6, negative 5, So there we go. We have formed a matrix of this system, and this is a augmented matrix. In other words, it's got the solution row on it. And what we want to see is, uh, does this produce a solution? Because if it does, then this guy is in the spanning set of this one. This certainly isn't the only way to do it. I just think it's the easiest way, because we're just going to check the reduced row echelon form of this matrix, and that's pretty easy when I RF this guy. I get the identity matrix. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1. And again, that's bad news because that means we get a pivot row in the solutions column. Uh, there's only three variables here, uh, and uh, having three variables and a pivot in the fourth column is always problematic, okay? So as a result of that, uh, there is no solution. That is, this is not a solution, so the answer is no. Px is not a member of this subspace. And we can take all the possible linear combinations here, and we're never going to generate that polynomial, no matter what coefficients we use.